General Manuel Antonio Noriega, for six years the military strongman of Panama. He wielded the power of life and death. There were no redeeming qualities about Noriega. He was a thug. He had no principles whatsoever. The United States accused him of dealing drugs to the youth of America. America deposed him in a bloody invasion. He was taken in chains to Miami, where he was found guilty of drug smuggling. Today, Noriega is America's only prisoner of war. When I finished, they clapped and the game began. The Delgado family lived only a few hundred yards from the exclusive All-White Union Club. It was a world Noriega's background and color forever excluded him from. But it was the world to which his father belonged. He was insecure in that he knew he was not accepted by the Taj Mahal, one of the great monuments to love. Diana's lone photo call gave the press a poignant image of a wife neglected by her husband. A few weeks later, on a skiing holiday in Austria, Diana heard the news that her father, Earl Spencer, had died. She left for the airport, but without the comforting arm of a husband concerned for her grief. Charles followed, but at a distance. The Spencers of Althrop are one of England's greatest noble families, but even Diana's aristocratic upbringing as the daughter of an earl couldn't adequately prepare her for before the next generation, her sons, can continue where she's left off. As the Princess of Wales moves on, the question is, who will fill the gap she leaves behind? The Prince and Princess of Wales have decided to separate. Their Royal Highnesses have no plans to divorce and their constitutional positions are unaffected. This decision has been reached amicably and they will both to continue to participate fully in the upbringing of their children. Diana was now out on her own, officially independent of Charles. Determined to maintain her international status, she visited Zimbabwe and used her high profile to focus media attention onto the hidden problems of one of Africa's smaller countries. She's a campaigner with a mission to help the problems of the third world, such as AIDS and leprosy. This is the international charity platform where she can use her public position for the benefit of the world's sick and needy. 